My name is Josh Knox. I'm a senior technical marketing architect for Carbon Black. And we are going to be looking at how to install Carbon Black containers manually into a Kubernetes cluster. You can see here that I already have several clusters uh, with Carbon Black container already installed. Got a couple dev, uh, got a couple prod. And what we're going to do is I have installed over in AWS, I have uh, a new cluster that I have just stood up. And you can see here, this is prod three. I have a control plane and I have two worker nodes. And we are going to add this cluster uh, to a uh, carbon black container. So I'm gonna go ahead here cause I know I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna click on this edit button here and we're gonna copy this. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it with the keyboard. I'm gonna copy the name of that cluster just so I, I have that name handy. And I'm already logged into this control plane over here. Here is the uh, prod three control plane. So we're ready to go over here. If I do a K get pods all, we can see that it's up and running and it's got the normal uh, little components that I install for some of my demos already in it, but it does not have carbon black. We would see the CB container data plane namespace if it were installed already. So let's go on over to the carbon black console. And here we are, we're in the carbon black console. And right now we are under inventory, Kubernetes and clusters. That's where we're at right now. So we want to add a cluster. So we're gonna go over here to this add cluster button and we're gonna click add cluster. Now we need a cluster name and that's why I went ahead and copied from over there from AWS. We're gonna put paste. I'm gonna get rid of this control plane part because we don't need that in the name of our cluster and the cluster group. Now this is important. The cluster group helps you define different groups of clusters. Now you'll see over here, it's grayed out back here, but you can see I have this dev is dev one, dev test is the name of this cluster, but it's still in the dev cluster group. I have this random cluster that's in the Knox cluster group. And then I have these two production clusters and they are in the prod cluster group. So this is, this is prod three. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this prod. I already have that, it's already there because I've used it before, but I'm gonna put prod in here and that will uh, put this cluster in the prod cluster group and that helps us for scoping. Now I'm gonna, you don't have to put any cluster labels on, but I am going to add a cluster label just to show you how it works here. I'm gonna make the key name and I'm gonna make the value Knox. And that is just a little cluster label that we're putting on this cluster to help as well. So now let's hit next. And now you can either generate a new API key or you can use an existing API key. And in my case, I have one already that I've used for my other clusters. And so there it is right there. Uh, if you have several of these, the drop down will, they'll all be shown here. I'm gonna use my Knox Kates and we're gonna hit next. And now we're uh, presented with a choice here. We can decide which sensor version we want to use. Right now it's uh, set to use the latest. So if I click uh, show all sensor versions, I can get this drop down and I can see the sensor versions that are available to me. I'm gonna go ahead and use this latest. And the same thing, you can either turn on or off runtime protection or the cluster image scanning. And you can see here that enabling the sensor components requires elevated privileges and can consume additional compute resources. So let's go ahead and hit next. And we are presented with uh, these three commands that we're going to run. And we run these three commands manually and we will attach our cluster to Carbon Black Cloud. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna uh, click this button here. It's copied to the clipboard. We're gonna go to our command line. We're gonna paste. And this is going to curl uh, the operator apply script. And when I run that, we're going to see that we uh, get a whole bunch of custom resource things added to our Kubernetes. And that looked like it ran correctly. So let's go back over now. All right, and now we're going to click on the second step here, which is adding uh, the secret to the cluster. 
So we're going to click on copy here. We're going to go back to our command line and we're going to paste this in and this will create the Kubernetes secret. And it says that the uh, access token has been created. And now we're going to click on the third step here. This is the cluster configuration. I'm going to click back over here on the command line and we're going to run this command. And there we are. Now let's take a look here. We're going to do a k get pods all. And now we see that there are uh, several containers that have been created in the CB containers data plane. Let's narrow it down to that. So k namespace CB containers data plane get pods. And now we can see them all. They are all running. We're not quite in a ready state yet. Um, gonna check that again. I'm gonna do this is a bonus here. If you you can't use an alias, but if you put in watch and then you put in the full cube control, you can watch cube control. We can kind of let this run over here in the background and just every two seconds it'll update here and we can see how this is doing. Looks like almost all these are running. Let's come back over to our uh, carbon black cloud. We are done and we're going to refresh the page. And we see here prod three has connected. Now there's an error and this is to be expected. Uh, it will stay here in the error state. If we click over here in the sensor health, you can see that there are a few things that are not completely done yet. And once those are done, then it will switch from uh, error to um, running. So we will wait for a second and let that get happy. And now we've refreshed the page and we see that uh, we are happy now. Uh, we have prod three. It has been added. Um, all of our, our hardening and the image scanning, the operator, uh, they are all installed and they are all in a working state. All right, and that's it for a manual install of Carbon Black containers in a Kubernetes cluster. Thanks for your time.